Welcome to the video. Our expert team developed an easy-to-use plugin for Abacus users to apply periodic boundary conditions, known as PBC, on two-dimensional parts with few clicks. It can be used for modeling various representative volume elements including composites, concrete, crystalline materials, and similar structures under different loadings. This plugin features mesh generation on part which is optional, checking the position of all boundary meshes, applying various types of loading like tension and shear along each direction. Let's see how it works. As an example, an RVE of unidirectional fiber reinforced composite at micro scale was prepared. Fiber diameter is 10 micrometers and fiber volume fraction is about 50%. Two-dimensional RVEs with random fibers or inclusions can also be generated automatically by another Ingsoft plugins. For this RVE part, two types of material was defined. Fibers were considered as isotropic material with transverse modulus of 40 GPa and Poisson's ratio of 0.25. Similarly, Matrix was considered as isotropic material with Young's modulus of 4 GPa and Poisson's ratio of 0.35. As you can see, appropriate sections were defined and assigned to the part. A static general step was also defined with the time period of 1. As you can see from the load module that no boundary conditions have been defined yet. To apply periodic boundary condition, you must select Ingsoft PBC 2D plugin from the menu. In the first tab, named as Mesh, you can allow the plugin to generate mesh on the part. Then you must enter global mesh size and mesh size on the horizontal and vertical edges of your RVE part. For this example, a value 0.015 was entered. In the second tab, PBC, model and part must be selected and instance name must be entered. Be careful to enter the instance name correctly. You can access the instance name from the model tree under instance branch. Then, left down point of the RVE must be chosen from the viewport. Similar must be done for the right top point of the RVE part. In the Load tab, you must at first choose whether to define the load or not. The current model must be selected from the model menu. Similarly, Step 1 must be selected for the Step section. Then, you can choose the type of loading which can be tensile or in plain shear. As a last step, the strain value must be entered, which is 0.01 in default. Clicking the OK button and everything is ready. As you can see, loading condition was created and applied to the RVE part. Similarly, periodic boundary condition was defined successfully and can be observed from the Constraint Manager window in Intersection Module. Discretization was also done successfully by plugin. Now the model is ready to be solved by submitting the job. You can observe the result in the visualization for the tensile loading in the X direction. And also you can observe the result for the shear loading in the X direction. Now let's discuss about the plugin interface. Before that, if you found this plugin helpful, please support our team with subscribe, like and comment and visit our website for more products. There are three tabs for mesh generation, applying PBC and loading. In mesh tab, you can select mesh the part option if you want plugin to generate mesh on the part. You can enter a global mesh size in this box. The value multiplied by the horizontal length of the RVE to calculate global mesh size. In the following boxes, you can determine the mesh size for both horizontal and vertical edges. These values will be multiplied by the corresponded length of the RVE to calculate mesh size. In the second tab, named as PBC, at first, you must select your model and part name. 
Then, instance name of the part must be entered correctly. Then, left down point and right up point of the part must be selected from the viewport. This tolerance check all the nodes on two opposite borders to be exactly in front of each other. If distance of two opposite nodes along the edge is greater than this value multiplied by edge mesh size, you will receive an error. In the third tab, you can choose define load option if you want plugin to apply loading condition on the part. Then you must select the model and loading step. There are four types of loading that can be defined by the plugin. You can select each of them. As a last step, the strain value must be entered, which is 0.01 in default. Thanks for watching this video. If you found this plugin helpful, please support our team with subscribe, like and comment. And visit our website for more products.